Hello everyone, this is Peter with GoodyReader.com and today is a note-taking review of the Onyx Books Note 10.3. You might be asking, did we, you know, we did this already? Well, we did. This is because the UI has changed. The whole UI elements and the sidebar and everything has changed. Prior to this, it looked like this. Everything was at the top, there was very limited settings you could actually choose from and now it's been expanded it's been approved upon it's faster it's quicker it's more responsive let's check it out we'll go from the top right to the bottom left so this is page forward and back you can make new pages by pressing the plus you can go number two and then go back and then say number one and you can add and delete pages like that this is save this is forward and back so if you make a square you can you can undo or you can redo if there's a bunch of staining on the screen and you make too many pages, you can press this and it's a refresh so it wipes away all of the staining on the screen. You can click this drop down and it will list all the notes you're making. So you can, uh, it's just called notes and then a date, but you can obviously say, uh, you know, skeletal graph, uh, music sheet, or whatever you want it to be. You can expand the screen by pressing the expansion. Uh, fit to corners and it'll explode it all the way to the corner so you can write corner to corner now which you actually couldn't do before so that's really cool and you can see I made four corners you just simply press the button right here to go back brings back the UI elements I can just press back a couple times and it deletes everything I did now for this side you can click on the thumbnails and it'll show you all the pages you made. So if you made three or four pages, we'll just say three and we'll put a star. You press the thumbnail menu and it shows all of the pages right there. <laughs> Sorry, there was something on the screen. Uh, and also I'm going to refresh. So we'll go to the paintbrush first and just look at what we can see here. So you do have pressure sensitivity with the paintbrush. You can see you can make hairline lines or thicker, darker lines. And you can also change this by changing the line size. First, we're gonna go to the pencil. Pencil is gonna really, um, it's gonna be very pencil-like, I should say. It's gonna, it's gonna have a good amount of, it's hard to explain. You know, like when the carbon tip of the pencil touches the paper, it's kind of like spotty. It's not a thick, um, it's not a super thick line like a paintbrush. It's it's almost like graphite-esque and that's because it's supposed to mimic a pencil. You see me kind of hovering my hand over it. You can use the touch screen and, and hold down on the capacitive layer and still use the um, Wacom layer for the note-taking uh, stylus portion and you can simply erase by wiping over everything you've erased and this is a good example of all the staining on the screen you just press the refresh and it goes away clicking on this you can make circles triangles and squares circle we won't make all of them but just circle triangle it's very quick very fast or you can actually do a straight line so if you're doing some graphing like so you can accurately make a terrible triangle like I just did and we're gonna wipe all that away you have line thickness and this you can either choose from a preset five of them like so and we'll go back to the paintbrush so we can show you what it looks like like that or you can <laughs> sky's the limit and make a gigantic line now it's cool to go with a line width of 20 sometimes because then you really take advantage of the full range of pressure sensitivity for example I can go razor thin or super thick if I have a smaller line size even though I press super hard I can never make as thick of a line as I did on the top line size so that's a little tip you might want to keep it on the highest setting so you really get that paintbrush type of feel when you're making notes and such it's gonna wipe all that away and another refresh we also have color color well black is kind of a color and whites a color I mean people say it's the absence of color but come on nerds so you can also choose white which is effectively an eraser or if you make the whole screen black you can white it out so to speak so that's kind of cool we'll go back to black because we can see it better you have backgrounds of course 20 point 16 point uh, music sheets you can do some writing Peter is uh, the best Woo, like that and we can also go my favorite is music notes because you can make a little lali lali la di da 
like so and you go boom 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 I don't know I took piano when I was seven I don't really remember any of it you can also do typing so if you draw a big P on the screen it'll throw itself up there then you draw a big E on the screen it'll show it throw itself up there etc etc T E or if you actually write your name like this it'll show up as the entire name right there so it's eh, you got to kind of get used to that delete all that you have touch panel um, uh, disable touch panel so you actually can't use your fingertips at all anymore uh, I remember I, I mean I realized I just skipped over the eraser you have moving eraser stroke eraser erase all uh, you can wipe the entire screen away like that you also have export page export uh, all pages and you have menu position change so you can click that and it'll flip over to the other side did I click it? There we go. Now it's on the right. So if you're left-handed and you don't want to cover all your menu like that, you can do that. So anyways, this is a 2018 August, uh, what are we sitting at? 13th update. We just did an update on this. And um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about the new UI layout, let us know for goodyreader.com. This is Peter.